Hi, and welcome back. I'm Nancy Valdivia, one of the librarians here for Palm Springs Public Library, and I'm here to read you a story for our Read to Me story time virtually. Today's story is going to be The Day the Crayons Quit. As you, a reminder, our reading program that starts today is Reading Colors Your World. And so I've chosen this book the Day the Crayons Quit. This story is written by Drew Daywalt, and it, uh, it's, it's a fun story from the illustrators of Stuck and This Moose Belongs to Me. So let's get going. When we read this book with permissions from Philomel Books, an imprint of Penguin Young Readers Group, and we thank them. Look at all these crayons, wonderful crayons. So many colors. Can you spy your favorite color? The day the crayons quit. By Drew Daywelt and pictures by Oliver Jeffers. One day in class, Duncan went to take out his crayons and found a stack of letters with his name on them. Here they are, Duncan. Hey, Duncan. It's me, Red Crayon. We need to talk. You make me work harder than any of your other crayons. All year long, I wear myself out coloring fire engines, apples, strawberries, and everything else that's red. I even work on holidays, and I have to color all the Santas at Christmas and all the hearts on Valentine's Day. I need a rest. Your overworked friend, Red Crayon. And as you can see here, he's done a lot of things with that Red Crayon. And here's that Red Crayon, exhausted. Another letter. This time it's in the color purple. Whoop, there he is, that purple crayon. Dear Duncan. All right. Listen. I love that I'm your favorite crayon for grapes, dragons, mm -hmm, and wizard's hats. But it makes me crazy that so much of my gorgeous color goes outside the lines. If you don't start coloring inside the line soon, I'm going to completely lose it. Your friend, neat friend, purple crayon. Oh, look at those wonderful dragons. Look, ooh, and grapes and wizards, all in purple. Another letter. I wonder who this is from. Let's find out. Dear Duncan, I'm tired of being called light brown or dark tan because I am neither. I am beige and I am proud. I'm also tired of being second place to Mr. Brown Crane. It's not fair that Brown gets all the bears and ponies and puppies. Well, the only things I get are turkey dinners, if I'm lucky. And wheat, and, and let's be honest, when was the last time you saw a kid excited about coloring wheat? Your beige friend, beige crayon. <laughs> Look how sad he looks. <laughs> oh, even his arms are low. 
Oh my goodness, these letters are all interesting. All right, look at this one here. Duncan, gray crayon here. You're killing me. I know you love elephants. And I know that elephants are gray. But that's a lot of space to color in all by myself. And don't even get me started on your rhinos, hippos, and humpback whale. You know how tired I am after handling one of those things? Such big animals! Baby penguins are gray, you know, so very tiny rocks and pebbles. Now, how about one of those once in a while to, to give me a break? Hmm? You're very tired, friend. Gray crayon. <laughs> That's a lot of coloring. That's a lot of coloring. What kind of animals do you spy? Can you tell? Yes. A nice gray elephant. Yes, there is a hippo and a rhino. And a tired old gray crayon. Who is pointing very much to this little penguin right here in the corner. I don't know if you can see that. Right in there. <laughs> okay. Oh my, let's take a look and see what this letter has to say. Dear Duncan, you color with me, but why? Most of the time I'm the same color as the page you are using me on, white. If I didn't have a black outside line, outline you would even know I was there. I'm not even in the rainbow. I'm only used to color snow or to fill in empty spaces between other things and it leaves me feeling, well, empty. We need to talk. Your empty friend, white crayon. <laughs> You see there? Can't even see where he is. <laughs> He's up over here. Oh, White Cat in the Snow by Duncan. Well, yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> oh, my. Duncan's got a lot of reading to do. All right. This next letter we open up. All right, let's see. Hi, Duncan. I hate being used to draw the outline of things. Things that are colored in by other colors and all of which think they're brighter than me. It's not fair when you use me to draw a nice beach ball and then fill in the colors of the ball with all the other colors. How about a black? Beach ball sometime, huh? Is that too much to ask? Your friend, Black Crayon. And there's a nice picture of a black beach ball. The kids look like they're having fun. Don't they? <laughs> I see happiness there. <laughs> uh. And there's the, there's the black crayon. He's he's praying and hoping that he could be used somehow, some other way. <laughs> Look, he wants to be part of the rainbow. <laughs> oh my! Look at this one. Who is this from? Do you know what letter is this from? Uh huh. Yep. You guessed it. Dear Duncan, he has green crayon. I am writing for two reasons. One is to say that I like my work. Loads of crocodiles and trees and dinosaurs and frogs and I have no problems and, and wish to congratulate you on a very successful 
coloring things green. <laughs> Career so far. The second reason I write is for my friends. Yellow crayon and orange crayon who are no longer speaking to each other. Both crayons feel they should be the color of the sun. Please settle this soon because they're driving the rest of us crazy. Your happy <laughs> friend, Green Crayon. <laughs> Look at that. Beautiful green things. Oh, and there are the other colors that aren't speaking to each other. Orange and yellow. <gasps> Look at this beautiful green Tyrannosaurus Rex with fangs. Oh, my goodness. And a green frog, of course. What else do you spy? What? Yes, a crocodile hill. Two of them, it looks like. And a beautiful tree. And this might be a bug or a monster. I don't know for sure, but it sure looks like one. All right. All right, Duncan, I hope you can get all this reading in before lunchtime. All right, let's see what's going on here. Another letter. Can you see the color? Huh? Yeah? Okay. Here, Duncan. Yellow crayon here. And I need you to tell Orange Crayon that I am the 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 co uh, uh, the co hot of the sun. I mean, I mean, I I, I am the color of the sun, and I, I would tell him, but we are no longer speaking. And I can prove I'm the color of the sun too. Last Tuesday, you used me to color in the sun on your happy farm. Mm -hmm. Coloring book. In case you've forgotten, it's on page number seven. And you can't miss me. I'm shining down brilliantly on a field of yellow corn. Your pal in that true color of the sun, yellow crayon. Oh my, he is correct. There is a yellow sun. And there is corn, and that's yellow. But I don't know. What do you think, boys and girls? We hate for crayons to be angry with one another, don't we? Let's see if they can patch this up. Let's turn the page. Have you spotted your favorite color yet? So many to choose from. All right, let's take a look at this letter. Uh-huh, it's addressed to Duncan. Yep. Huh, I see Yellow Crayon already talked to you. It's a big whiner. Anyway, could you please tell Mr. Tattletail that he is not the color of the sun? Hmm? I would, but... We're no longer speaking. We both know I am clearly the color of the sun because on Thursday you used me to color the sun on both the Monkey Island and the Meet the Zookeeper pages in your Day at the Zoo coloring book. Orange, you're glad I'm here? <laughs> Get it? <laughs> Your pal and the real color of the sun, orange crayon. Hmm. As you can see here, orange crayon has a little bit of an attitude, doesn't he? And he's right. Those colors were used on Meet the Zookeeper in Monkey Island. But that's it. Let's continue. Oh my, look at this color. Yeah, you know who did this one, right? Uh-huh. Well, let's read it. Dear Duncan, it's been great being your favorite color this past year, and the year before, and the year before that. Mm-hmm. I have really enjoyed all 
of those oceans and lakes and rivers and raindrops and rain clouds and clear skies. But the bad news is that I am so short and stubbly I can't even see over the railing in the crayon box anymore. I need a break. You're very busy and stubbly, friend. Blue crayon. Can you see me? Yep, that's me down there, Mr. Stubby. Look at that blue ocean and the clouds and the rain. <laughs> Little stubby crayon, blue crayon. Oh my, look what we have here. Uh-huh. Know what color that is? I can't hear you. Yes, you got it. You got it. So let's read this letter. Duncan. Okay. Listen here, kid. You have not used me once in the past year. Hm. It's because you think I am a girl's color, isn't it? Speaking of which, please tell your little sister I said thank you for using me to color in her little princess coloring book. I think she did a fabulous job of staging, staying inside the lines. Mm -hmm. Now, back to us. Could you please mm, use me sometime to color the occasional pink dinosaur or monster? Goodness knows they could use a splash of color. Your unused friend, Pink Crayon. Huh. Oh my. She sounds upset, doesn't she? But look, that's not so bad, is it? It's rather nice. Look, sisters coloring page. She did stay in the lines too, didn't she? All right, boys and girls. Here we are, almost towards the end. I wonder what's going to happen next. Let's see. Uh-oh. Hey, Duncan. It's me, Paige Crayon. Why did you peel off my paper wrapping? Now I'm naked and too embarrassed to leave the crayon box. I don't even have any underwear. How would you like to go to school naked? I need some clothes. Help! Your naked friend, Paige Crayon. <laughs> Poor little peach crayon hiding in the box. <laughs> so many letters. So many questions. Oh my. Well, poor Duncan just wanted a color. And of course, he wanted his crayons to be happy. And that gave him an idea. All right. I wonder what that will be. Let's find out. <gasps> oh my, can you see this, boys and girls? Oh, isn't that gorgeous? <gasps> my, my, my. <gasps> when Duncan showed his teacher his new picture, she gave him an A for coloring. Oh, boys and girls, can you see how much writing a letter can help improve your artwork and grade? Wowie. Did Duncan use all the colors in his crayon box? He sure did, didn't he? Wow, what an imagination.
Oh, I love this orange whale. My goodness, so beautiful. Oh, wow. And an A plus for creativity. Wow, communication is great. Look at all the colors in one little crayon. And that crayon is super happy because he's clapping. Can you clap too? Yeah, 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 yeah. Great job, Duncan. Way to go. Way to use your imagination. And don't forget that reading reading colors your world all right that's the end of that the day the crayons quit written by drew daywalt and don't forget the pictures by oliver jeffers i think they did a great job with this story great teamwork all right just a reminder that our summer theme, Reading Colors Your World, starts today, so register. And we also have a craft to go with this particular story. This is our purple dragon with a little bit of green here and there. Pick up this kit up here at the Palm Springs Public Library. And we'll see you soon.